In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Continuity Mod for Minecraft Java version 1.21.11. So, let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, go to your search bar and search up Mod Rinth, like this. Now enter, here go to modern.com, click on Mod Rinth, and this will bring you to the Modern Form page. From there, go to Discover Content on the top of the website, then go to Mods. Here, go to search mods and search up continuity, like this. Now, click on the mod's name once you find it, and then you are here. So all you have to do is go to versions, and once you're here, go to game versions and choose 1.21.11. Here, we have one release for Fabric 1.21.11, so click on the green download button, and this will be the first step. So now what we need is Fabric API. To get Fabric API, you can go ahead and go to Discover Content here on the top again, and go to Mods. Now, go to Fabric API, it should be one of the first things, if it doesn't show up, you can search for it as well, but it should be here, and I will have it in the description as well. So click on the name here, and once you're here, go to Versions, and like before, go to Game Versions, and choose 1.21.11. Here, find a release for 1.21.11 Fabric, and click on the green download button. Okay, so once you did this here, you need something to go ahead and use continuity with. So for example, if we go to discover content here and go to resource packs, you can go and search resource packs and do something like continuity, right? And here you have some resource packs with this in the description or tiles. And this is some examples. If you have your own, of course you can use your own. This is some examples here. So I'm gonna get immersive glowing ores, for example. So we just click on the name here and then we go to versions and go to the latest file or just game versions in 1.21.11. Here is a resource pack for 1.21.11 and you can click on download. It doesn't have to always be updated here, but in this case it is updated to the latest version. So what you want to do here is get Fabric to run the two mods. To do this, go to a new tab, go to your search bar and search up Fabric Minecraft, like this. Now enter, here you'll find fabricmc.net, click on Fabric and you'll be sent to the Fabric homepage. Once you're here, go to the blue download button, and then go to the blue download for Windows button. Okay, once you did this here, we have everything we need from our web browser. So you can close or minimize your web browser, I'll close mine, then you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Once you're here, go ahead and find Fabric here, and double click it. This will load up the Fabric installer, and all you have to do is make sure the Minecraft version is correct, if it is, do install. Okay, and close. Here, you can now go to your Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, we'll be able to add the two mods to the mods folder, and we can also add our resource packs as well. So basically, what you want to do here is go to installations here, once we have fabric loader here. Once you're here, hover over fabric loader and go to the folder icon. Here, find mods and double click the folder. Once you're here, go to downloads. Select the two mods and copy them. Then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. Here we have our Fabric API and continuity here. Here go to DOM Minecraft again and if you have a resource pack you can add it here. So you just double click this. Once you're here, go to downloads, select immersive auth for example or any other thing you might have which work with this mod and copy it. Here go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. And there you go. So we have one resource pack here in resource packs and we have our mods here. So here you can go back to your Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected here, and if it is, click on play. And you might have to do this little check mark here, and click play again. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay. So once Minecraft has opened up here, you can go to a single player world, a server or a realm. I'll just go to a single player world here, and we can check out our resource pack. Okay, so once we're in Minecraft here, what you can do is go ahead and go to Escape, Options, and Resource Packs. Once you're here, we have a couple things here. This comes with the mod, and this is our resource pack here. So to activate it, you click this, and it'll go here and do done. Now, I am going to show you this without this resource pack, and then activate it. So let's do the time to night. So if we do slash time set, I'll do midnight. Here we need some ores, so let's get some ores. 
So we'll just get some ores, why not? This, this, and on this, why not? Yeah. And we just put this like this. Okay. And once we have these, as you can see, they're not glowing because we don't have a resource pack. So if we go and escape, options, resource packs, go to this, and we activate it here. Oh, again, you might have something completely different in this, but this is just to show you what happens. What's going to happen is, as we have the mod, it now glows. So yeah, it is a very simple change, but this is something you can do using continuity. So yeah, this is how we download and install continuity mod for Minecraft Java version 1.21.11. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!